I am Dr. Andrew Wheatley, the Minister of Science, Energy and Technology. My ministry continues to play a critical role in fueling Jamaica's growth and development. In terms of energy, we have seen the development of a range of projects. Projects to include the 37 megawatt solar plant for which ground was broken in December 2017. And this is scheduled to be completed by December of 2018. This will bring some US $60 million worth of investment to Paradise Park in Westmoreland. And this will allow Jamaica to become the largest solar farm in the Caribbean. I must add that this investment will see electricity being provided to the grid at the lowest price anywhere in this region, a price of 8.54 US cents per kilowatt hour. A ground was also broken for the construction of a 100 megawatt liquid natural gas co-generation facility at Jamalco Clarendon. Some 15 communities benefited from our electrification program. As a result of this initiative, some 1,100 households now have access to proper electricity. For the three public sector agencies, we were last year monitored under the Energy Efficiency Savings Program. As a result of that initiative, some 3.8 million kilowatt hours and some US $1.3 million in savings were realized. Under the recently signed US $40 million Energy Management and Efficiency Program, signed with the Inter-American Development Bank and the Japan International Corporation Agency to promote energy efficiency in government facilities and fuel conservation in road transportation was recently put into effect. We have completed the National Petroleum Codes. In fact, we have also seen quite a number of initiatives within the energy sector to develop Jamaica's energy security. Much was also achieved under the Ministry's science portfolio. A fund was recently developed of $30 million, giving access to Jamaican scientists to be able to develop their scientific ability. This is part of the general thrust of the government to ensure that we invest in R&D. This fund is geared towards ensuring that quality research projects in water research and indigenous knowledge is developed. The draft National Science Innovation and Technology Policy was also completed. Recently, the government signed a MOU with Biojam Industrial Research and Development Global Incorporation to undertake a feasibility study for the establishment of a science and technology park in Jamaica. There were quite a number of achievements in the area of technology. Recently, we launched the Technology Advancement Program, TAP 1000 which seeks to target young people between the age of 18 to 35. And this project seeks to facilitate the acquisition of ICT skills and equip them to participate in a global digital economy. We recently launched our US $800,000 Creative Industries Education and Employment Program. This program seeks to equip some 150 trainees with training in 3D animation, $13 million worth of laptops and software were handed over to facilitate 40 members of the community of persons with disabilities. From a legislative perspective, we are currently looking at the Data Protection Bill in Parliament. This bill seeks to afford Jamaicans with the necessary protection as we encourage them to use ICT. Recently, we launched a state-of-the-art Center for Innovation and Advanced Manufacturing in partnership with the Caribbean Maritime University. The Government of Jamaica also launched the Jamaica portal at www.gov.jm. This portal will act as the one-stop shop for all things online relating to the Government of Jamaica. We also launched a number of public Wi-Fi facilities across the country. These free public Wi-Fi facilities are located at Devon House, Mandela Park in Alpha Tree, St. William Grand Park in downtown, Olympic Way, Junction and Mandeville. We have embarked on a program to install all the community access points across this country 
with solar PV systems. This is part of the drive of the government to ensure that these community access points are sustained and that we can continue to build out the ICT capacity of our people. The Ministry of Science, Energy and Technology will continue to fuel Jamaica's growth and development.